Let me show you how we can use Automizer, Optimizer's campaign building tool, to turn e-commerce data into a full-fledged set of campaigns full with keywords, ad groups, and everything else we need to run on Google Ads. Here's the campaign builder tool. I've already created a template to make this demo a little bit quicker. We call it e-commerce example number one. Let me show you how I set it up. The first thing I did is I connected it to an external data source. In this case, it was Google Spreadsheet, we can also connect this to data that comes directly from Google Merchant Center or through an FTP, an API, or some other standard data connection. Let's take a quick look at what's in this data set. So here's the spreadsheet. It's pretty messy, but it's from the Google Merchant Center, so it contains all the data about products, brands, prices, URLs, and all of the other attributes. So how do we take this messy data and turn it into something a little bit more interesting that we can actually use in Google Ads? When we connected this data, we got all of the insertion parameters. So every header that's on the spreadsheet becomes available as a dynamic insertion. Now, how do we use this? Well, we go on to the next step. Here we get specified campaigns. I've decided to create new campaigns on the fly as needed, but you could just as well use existing campaigns in your account. So what uh, should I name these campaigns? Well, I've decided to combine brand and product type off of the data set. You can specify this further by typing in a squiggly bracket, and then you get all of the insertion parameters available from your data set. So for example, if you wanted to include something like color, you could just pick it from this list and we would insert it right there. But let me keep it simple and just combine the brand and the product type. Then I can also tell it if we should make these campaigns in paused status or enabled, as well as a few other things like what could what kind of budgets, what kind of geo-targeting, language targeting, negative keywords, etc. Now from here, we get to specify what ad groups we will create in these campaigns. I've already set up one example, so let me show you what I did. I decided to name each ad group based off of the insertion parameters. I decided to use brand, product type, colon, size, color, and gender. So pretty good combination of a, a lot of the parameters and attributes we have in the data set. I gave it a bid and I specified a few keywords to use. This first one, I decided to make it an exact match, but it's very easy to change the match type. So we'll automatically do the correct notation. And of course, if I wanted to do something uh, where I put in some static text, like in, in this case here, I put in the word bulk, and then I have dynamic insertion of a couple of the data points from my spreadsheet. And again, I could just click on here and then add something like color to that. Uh, let's not do that because color was already in there. So I'll delete that. Now for these keywords, we get to specify the ads, text ads, call only ads, as well as a default fallback ad. In the text ad, once again, you can see we're doing dynamic insertion from data that's on the spreadsheet. So I'm pulling in the link from the spreadsheet, my merchant center data, and then the headline is gonna read <coughs> by gender, and I'm putting the plural on there, product type, and again, the plural. <coughs> so I can construct my ad this way. I'll update that. <coughs> and then I can add more ads if needed. The final step here is the inventory component. So through inventory, I can say when we should actually include a piece of data that's in my Google Merchant Center feed. So let's add a new condition. For example, let's go ahead and look at the price fields that we have available. So say that if my sale price, which is numerical, I can choose between number and text. So if my sale price is lower than some amount, uh, is less than, say less than 100, that's when I want to include it. And I can add multiple conditions as well. Now, this is a simple way to say, we're only gonna include things that meet these conditions in this build out, but I could also have multiple templates, right? So I could have a similar build out for products where the sale price is greater than 100, and perhaps I still wanna run ads for it, However, I'm just applying different ad templates and different keyword variations. So let's go ahead and save this. And now we got that template ready to go. From here, I can do preview suggestions. And here is what that preview looks like. So we tell you overall how many rules of data we evaluated, how many structural elements we will create, as well as how many failures and warnings we encountered along the way. To get more details about these failures and warnings, just download a spreadsheet that has a lot of detail about everything that needs attention. But let's take a look at the stuff that actually worked. So we have, uh, we will create 86 campaigns in this case. Now we show you a preview just for two campaigns so that you get a sense of what exactly will be done. 
generally, if it's working right for these campaigns, then the template will also work right for everything else. So this is just a quick preview. So let's take a look at Team 365 Jacket. And again, remember, this is the combination of the brand plus the product type. That's what we're going to name the campaigns. The ad groups were taking that same uh, insertion of the brand plus the product type, and then we're putting in the size um, as well as some additional uh, parameters here, right? So the color is in there um, as well as if it's for male or female or unisex. So let's grab one of these and then we can see exactly the keywords that will come out of this as well as exactly the ads that we would build. So you can see that it actually talks about uh, unisex jackets available in a very specific size. So this ad matches very nicely to the keywords that were very specific about size, about uh, the type of product. Now we might look at this and actually say, well, there's a bit of a typo here, right? So for unisex, we shouldn't have put the S at the end. So I could go back, I could simply update my template and I could put a condition that says, if the gender for the product is unisex, then we're gonna run a different template where we wouldn't put an S at the end. So it's very easy to make those changes through the template. Now, once we're happy with this, we can do a few things. We can say, let's just apply this and let's go ahead and make these 86 campaigns right now. If you want to automate this, that's possible too. So there's an automation that you can then request your account manager to do for you. And then we will automatically update your campaigns every day based on whatever's in stock and based on whatever templates you have. So it'll be a very easy way for you to update your ads based on inventory levels, based on special promotions you're running. And all of that is gonna be done very quickly and very automated. So that's what the campaign builder from Optimizer can do. It works for retail, it works for travel, works for automotive, works for a lot of different industries. Basically, if you have structured data and you have a template, we can create your ads on the fly. We have a free trial, so take a look at our website, optimizer.com, to get started.